San Antonio. Boy, shirt too much in different videos. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. How's it going? So we're over here breaking down barriers, making moves. Yeah, tearing yeah. stuff up. Frankie Michelle. Hey. Oh, man. She's awesome. Kenya. Yeah. We're doing a little Project Forward member uh, consultation, and we're talking right now um, about about what to do. Frankie, Fr Frank, Frankie has ideas about um, where to go with the website. I just want to be super transparent. Are you comfortable with this? Yeah. Good. That's great. That's it. Yeah. I would have stopped, actually, if you said that you were uncomfortable. <laughs> Normally, I don't care, but today, like, I feel like I'm more empathetic, actually, hmm. which is interesting. Well, thank you. Hmm. I think this is interesting. I just said that I'm a jerk, but today I'm nicer. But anyway, that's mm. really cool. So we're talking about what to do with the website. And okay. we're talking about... Um, what website? What are we talking about? We're, we're talking about Fr Frankie uh, Michelle. She's launching Black Writers of San Antonio. Hey. And um, I already had this idea, so like this is actually you just... You already had this idea. No, no, no. Not for Black Writers of San Antonio. But the idea that I'm going to... That, that kind of is going on to why I want to... Uh, why I'm advising you to do the website a certain way. It's actually an idea that I've been leading in um, to, since this morning. And even before that, actually, I think we talked a little bit about it last week. And that idea is that sometimes when you're starting something new, you want to throw, throw a party. But it's kind of like when you go to college, when you, when you start college, you don't, you don't throw a I'm going to college party. You might throw a I'm graduating from high school party. And if your parents are like really overprotective, they might throw an I'm going to college party. But I... <laughs> Or you're going to college party, but okay. what I what what I'm getting into is that um, very often the things that um, when when we do these um, and you brought up a few things. Okay, let me start yeah. from there. Right. Um, the things that are celebrated at the beginning, like yeah. um, uh, weddings. What were oh. some of the other things? Engagements. We were talking about babies being born. You got your bridal shower. Babies being born. Yeah. Bridal Using shower. Virginity pow parties. Really. I don't think that was one of the ones that you told me about before. It's okay. People have losing virginity parties? Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, they shouldn't. They also have divorce parties. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let, no let's beginnings. Go, let, let's use the idea of weddings because that's a perfect one, right? With weddings, um, you have this really big this really big party. And 50%... What, what did you want to say? Yeah. this I already know where you're going with this. We were talking about like opening businesses. It's for them, though. How... Yeah. Okay. We were talking about how businesses open and, businesses and they'll too. have a party, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you said 80% of businesses okay. fail? I don't want to quote that, but there's a large percent. It's probably, it's probably very close to that. We could Google it right now. Right. I guarantee it's going to be pretty close to that. 50% of marriages fail. That we know for a fact. All right, so basically what you're saying is like, Frankie, I want to protect this little project and I don't want, you know, you don't want me to have my hopes up too high or Something no, like no, that. not at all. I want your hopes to be at the ceiling. Because this doesn't sound like a okay. winning perspective. Yeah, great. Right. We're in great, this, great, great, we're great. in this to win. Great. I'm glad that we're addressing we're this, and it's even better. We're throwing the party. Think, we're putting it all yeah. in because we're in to win, right? I think the video is helping a lot. Yeah, you're definitely in it to win. If you're not in it to win, you're going to lose. But you have to have, and this is weird, because like, and I love, I love, I love that this is contradicting because it's perfect. It's it's actually showing the truth of reality. Some of you guys are gonna know who I'm like stealing you know this from what? a little bit, but okay. What are you gonna say? Because I I kind of have a little bit of a quote that can wrap it all up. Okay, great. Um, so what I'm gonna say is that we're pulling from the idea of this right here. That energy you have to go into it a hundred percent, like you're gonna win, or else you have failure to. failure is imminent. Now on the other hand of what I'm trying to say That's is we're gonna have a party. Just we're like, gonna set it up. We're gonna put our time oh, in. Yeah, definitely. And just like just like um um but but the on the other hand, it's like weddings and businesses. A lot of people they they grab businesses and they grab weddings with the idea that let me have this huge thing this huge day and they build up to this day they, they build up to this launch they build up to all this planning that they do in the secret and they don't tell anybody about it and then when the thing gets started they realize that oh this is actually when the work starts and actually what the first thing that you get hit with is oh this isn't what I expected no oh, pivot yeah. here this isn't what I expected oh pivot here this isn't what I expected Cookie lions. but what happens is if you if you have invested, over invested, and I talk a lot about over investing, I, I don't make a ton of videos, but I put some other stuff out there. If you over invest, what happens when the pivoting comes is all your stuff was over here, and then you go bankrupt. Now, if you're a kind of really positive, super determined person that at meeting with right. bankruptcy, they can say, I'm okay with being bankrupt because this is the thing I care about, then I'm gonna keep going. That's why those 20% of businesses, 
Again, I don't know about that statistic. That's why those 20% of businesses, they still succeed. Because they say, you know what, it wasn't really about everything that I put in. Even though I lost that, I still care about it enough yeah, to keep going. Yeah, I still have momentum. And the marriages, they realize, okay, you know what? I thought love was going to be him bringing me flowers every day. And every time I look at him or every time I look at her, I'm super in love. And nothing's ever going to go wrong. But you know what? That's not what it is. And I can keep going. The people who realize that they can't keep going, bankruptcy on the stuff that they wanted, they quit. Same thing with... Um, the bankruptcy on the stuff in the businesses, they're out because they went bankrupt and they didn't have the, the gumption to keep going. But I think that there's a way. Can I say my quote? Go ahead. Cookie Lions. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be Beyonce, but nobody wants to do the work. And it's just like what you're saying. Like mm -hmm. it's day in and day out work. 50% of marriages fail for whatever reason, but I think a lot of it is not showing up, mm -hmm. not being vulnerable, not being open and honest about what you see, about what it is before you come in. So like before we have this whole out launch, have we sat and talked about it and we've had hours of mm -hmm. sitting and flushing it out and thinking about is this what we really, really want to do? Yeah. And Yeah. And that that's kind of it. And um Beyonce is almost a really great example except for almost. Yeah, except for there's She puts she, in work. Yeah, she does. And then she, there's also a lot of luck. You can put in as much work as Beyonce and still not make it, right? And I'm, and I that's mean, not great. To her, so. Not to her level, mm -hmm. but you have, okay, say you put in as much work as Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And you're right, there's lots of artists who put in as much work as Beyonce. And people who do that and have good attitudes mm -hmm. inspired people, affected people, and got to a certain point. Because, yeah, Beyonce mm -hmm. had a lot of luck. And, and now and she, she, and she, was, she was born Beyonce, to be quite honest. Sure, talent level. Guess what? I start, um, even if I started at five, doing Beyonce work, I'd, I'd be here right now still. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's a great example, but it's like saying, you know, like, like you know what's funny to me about, like, um, these people who are in really super crazy extremes, like basketball players? Um, we say, oh, you know what, LeBron, he, he put in the work. He did put in a lot of work. Yeah, but if you look at people, work. you look at people who are in the NBA, one in in about five people who okay. are that height are in the NBA. Okay. So is LeBron? People think it's one in a million to get to the top of of basketball, but actually, LeBron is about one in something close to like ten thousand, because those are the only people who are his, his height. So for a six foot whatever eight person, he he just had to beat the rest of the people who were as tall as him. So I'm just saying that those aren't those really extreme examples. They're not always the best examples of what's going to happen in, in 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 our lives because it's not really just about work. Pivoting, okay. pivoting. Work is really work is really more about. I mean, success is really more dependent on really good um, planning. Um, and and I guess that's where I'm trying to come yeah, come, come from with this. That's my big thing. Is like let's not. Over invest. That's what I'm trying to say right now. All right. Like let's uh, and and so basically the the options are with this thing. Do we start a brand new website or do we incorporate it in something that's already existing, allowing us a little bit of cover? Because guess what? The option is always there. If we blow up, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand people care. All of a sudden, you're you're not missing any time, right? But if you need to pivot, if you need to change the idea a little bit. If you need to change it to uh, in, uh, black black uh, writers of South Texas instead of black writers of, of San Antonio, if you need to change it to urban writers of San Antonio, if you if you need to change it to black writers of Florida because you just got a dope job in Florida, if you need to change it to um, the Writers Association of America because you just got a grant and but they need you to change the wording, then you have those abilities, right? We don't have anything holding us back. Let's not create something to hold us okay. back. Okay, so. I'm really, really on board with that. Mm -hmm. And you came to me this morning or this afternoon and you had all this bubbly energy and you're like, Frankie, yes, I wanna really, really, really talk to you about like where this is going and like how much energy we're gonna put in this and like how this is gonna launch off. Like you were like, how are you feeling? And I said, alive because I'm feeling nervous, but I'm also feeling very excited about the start. And you were like, well, we have all these people starting new stuff. We have all this starting energy. Mm -hmm. Great. Of the, of so, the so I mean, uh, if if that that thing to sum it up, what I was getting at with that is um, the I'm trying to I'm trying to get everyone to just chill out a little bit. 
I think the instead, whole starting thing, what do you, what do you, yeah, what do you say with I, the I whole think starter? With starting thing, we, we get a lot of energy, but you're, you're at the very beginning of a 10-year thing, at a five-year okay. thing. You know, and I like, I, I, I gave you a little bit of the metaphor. I think that we need to start projects the same way that we start weeks. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Then what would your wedding look like? Would it just be kind of like a sob start? Just kind of like. Oh, please let me elope. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me go to the courthouse. The only reason I'm having, I would have a slightly larger wedding is because I care about uh, my family. But at, the idea of, in, the idea of putting anything over like. Five percent of my like current wealth at the time into 5%. yeah yeah five bare bare minimum okay bare minimum and not because I don't love this person and not because I, I don't think the marriage is going to be great it's because I know the marriage is going to be great okay. and a lot of work and I'm looking forward to the All work right. and the the first celebration but everyone's different you know some people All might right. what if she might. wants a big wedding you're gonna have a big wedding yeah and she's also gonna pay for it. <laughs> I don't, um, I, don't, I don't really know, but that's that's probably what's gonna happen. Like honestly, I I can't I, I can't I can't see it happening. And honestly, I'm that kind of person, so I'll probably link up with someone who's like me. That might be cheap, wishful thinking. Two cheap people. Yeah, two super practical. Why are we spending? At least let's spend the money on the honeymoon. If we're gonna over invest in anything, we're we're not doing it on on uh, this weird little party. Okay. Thing. So back on the task of but guess what? artists who are starting. You know what? You know what I, let me let me touch on this for a second because this is exciting. You know what I love more than um, you know what I love more than something that's really big and lavish. Yes. I love production value. I love production value. Instead of for me having a really big wedding where I go to downtown and I say, "Give me your five thousand dollar hall and um, give me your twenty thousand dollar decorations and give me your whatever whatever so i can and let me let me pay for hotels for all these people i'm about production value i'm like where are people not having weddings i want to do my wedding on uh on a beach somewhere you know people what are it, not having weddings exactly dusty west texas you on the cactus no that's gross i'm talking about production <laughs> value stuff stuff that and this is what i do every single week right i've, I've been doing an uh go live with kenyo for a year, okay. and the amount of money that I've invested in that, it won't be, you won't believe how little it is. And do you know why I'm still here? It's because it's been that little. And you know I've been, why I've been able to pivot, and those pivots have been so pivotal to my success? I don't know how I did that. Pivot, <laughs> that, that rhyming. It's because I never over-invested. So when I wanted to do something else, I was like, okay, this is, it was great. The idea was great, but the idea didn't come out on the first week. The idea came out over time. The, for, the what we're getting into when we start something is we're starting to sketch um, something that's deep inside of us. Okay, okay. So I am on board with. And if you're sketching in pens, guess what? Your end result is still gonna have traces of this ugly ass pen on it, or you're gonna have to throw the whole thing away. Sorry, the metaphor just hit me. Just like damn pencils. Yeah. yeah. Erasers. Yeah. Use pencils. Use really low. Use the 4B pencil. 4B Don't even use the 2B. It's too hard. Use the 4B pencil so it's really easy to get out when you change it. And it doesn't mean that you don't believe in the idea. It means that you believe in the idea inside of yourself more than you care about okay. showing up this first time. Okay. Because everyone cares about showing up the first time, and I'm telling you, I see it. I see it. I see it. I'm only telling you because I see it. I don't do anything that I don't come from experience. I see it over and over again. Okay. People starting with ideas that they can't handle full out because they put too much into non-essential manifestations too okay. early on. And it's about showing up really the hundred the first time and just like the continual show up, dealing with the crap, staying flexible, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and showing up deeply because what, what's most important about this first thing that's going to happen, this first event, is going to be the writers. If we're going to overinvest in anything, we need to overinvest in the value that we're delivering to those people because that's what really matters. We have people like, uh, I'm going to shout her out, I don't care if she cares, but Felita Hicks. This girl's known. She kills it. She's won, uh, I don't know if this is wrong actually, but she's won slams. She hosts her own events in San Marcos. She, <laughs> she has a degree in what she does. She is interested in this event. Yeah. That is huge pressure. That's what I'm, I'm scared about. 
how do we deliver value for her that okay. she ever comes back again? Because it's so easy for her to never, ever feel like she needs right. to come back again. Yeah. So if we're going to put our energy anywhere, and that and that same thing with my events. The people that I met in those first few weeks, um, and it's not even just the first few weeks, but I show up so much on an emotional level, and this is just by the grace of God, because I, I, you know, I'm not always feeling great, but the, some of those relationships, um, they communicated with me, and they've stuck around even though those ideas have shifted. Right. Authenticity. Let's care about the people. This whole concept of being a starter is playing off of what we were talking about last week. Like last week we were talking about going from the thinking space to the doing space. Mm -hmm. And I think there's no better um, treat to yourself or gift to yourself than to show yourself what you can do. Especially if you've thought about your idea and realized that you can commit to it, you can make it happen. And then you begin. So that you were talking about how you've been around all of these starters, like these people who are in this doing phase. More than I feel like a lot of it's happening right now. There's yeah. a lot of starters right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to add anything else about the energy of being around those people? Mm, no, but I definitely want to say, um, check out Frank and Michelle's YouTube. Um, do it, find her, okay? Um, very soon, I'll, we'll have a very easy website to give you right now. I can definitely say, check out at Frank and Michelle on Instagram. Okay. Check out at Frank and Michelle on Twitter. And again, even though it might seem like I'm super heavy-handed, I'm not. I'm actually going to let Frankie do whatever she wants, and I don't even need an I told you so. You're going to let me do what I want? People get really offended when I use the word let, especially right. women, all right? And I'm going to be sexist as hell right now. I use the word let. You can let me do something. You're letting me use your, your thing right now so we can do this video. You're letting me sit next to you on the couch. We all let each other do anything because we're gods of our own space and in existence. But see, what Frankie's doing is what Frankie's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna let Frankie. That's do right it. because Frankie is going space. to do whatever she wants, and um, yeah, definitely. Okay. And you know, and I, I don't even believe in I told you so's, but we recorded the video, so it's gonna be great. Either yes. way. <laughs> But I, I do think the evidence is super clear. You know, this is what I love about what we're doing right now because um, I've done a lot of different things and I'm not actually in a great emotional place right now. Okay. Like I'm, I'm just not. But I, this thing, I care about it and it's so easy for me to see. It's so black and white that I can be super passionate about it. Good. I can be super clear and direct about it. Can you? It's really great. Hmm. Mm. How about you though? How are you feeling right now? Um, okay. How's your heart? Hello, heart. My heart's happy. My heart believes in this. My heart wants to encourage people to write and put their perspectives out there. There's no better place I want to be. Let me ask you this. Okay. If we bought the domain today, okay. Black Writers of San Antonio, yeah. to make a good website, mm -hmm. um, starting from scratch um, it's gonna take about 40 40 hours of work no it doesn't yeah it no does. it doesn't to make a good website I've made fantastic websites that I put in 10 okay okay 10 hours do you think that um, in in because we have we have six four days to this event yeah do you think that in and let's let's not even talk about this event let's say that the next one is a month away mm -hmm. given your schedule and what you have to do do you think that 10 hours building a website will provide more value. No. 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 I don't even think it's even up for debate. Like, I really am supportive of what we're doing when it comes to, like, not having our own website. No, I'm totally on board. I just thought it would be very interesting for us to talk about starter space, like, what it's like to be an artist who's starting something. Mm. I think this was, I like this because it's a super practical example. Yeah. I think this is a super practical example. If you're an artist who's starting something. Start simple. Oh, man. Man, I can't. Start start ridiculously simple. I and, think so. And start with the thing. Yeah. Don't, Don't start with the idea. Don't start with the image of the thing. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're starting with the meetings. We're starting with the community. We're starting with this amazing conversation that me and Kevin are orchestrating, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And cool. just continuing to bring the thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's your experience like as a starter? Jump in, jump in, and it's do chaos. it. It's chaos, right? 
I mean, yeah. okay, let me, I'm, I'm, I don't it want is. you to say anything. It but, is. Yeah. You're gonna, are you gonna let me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a talker over. I'm a talker over. Plus, you know, you can catch a lot of Frankie. We're about to post a, a solo video of her yeah. talking by herself, okay? Thank so you. She, she definitely watch her stuff. She minister, ministers to me. I mean, the coolest thing about doing Project Forward, other than um, the ability to, like, meet lots of people at, like, shows and stuff like that, is really the whole member thing was set up because... Uh, I think it's really feeding. Like, there's no better way for me to start the week. This Monday, starting it with you talking this kind of conversation, it's getting me fired up. Good. You are, you're, 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 you're a minister. You're a minister. Um. So you are. Thank you, Junior. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stop it here. <laughs> we're at a good length. If you've watched it this much, then. Um, you had a little bit of free time. That's good. Now, now get out there and, and do some fantastic Dr. work. Stuff. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, Frankie. Thanks, Junior. Bye. See you guys.